Hey everyone, welcome back. New day, new lure. And uh, today's lure is going to be based on a video I actually saw uh, from Matt Steffen. He did a great video about a week ago uh, about topwater lures and this new black craze that's that's going around. How, how all these topwaters need to be black. And um, I'll put the link down below for the video. Uh, it, it's a great one. He does a better job explaining it than I will. But I gotta admit, I agree. He raises a lot of good points. I like a dark topwater lure because I think it makes a nice, better silhouette. Because that's really all the fish is seeing right there, that angle. So the colors we're going to use, some white, some black, and we're going to use some high gloss UV resin. Now this is not going to be our top coat. This is actually going to be kind of a, a middle coat. What I'm going to do first is paint the lure black and let's get into it. Now in his thumbnail that he used for his video, the lure is a nice combination of like a, a, a matte gray as well as like a really glossy black. So without me having to go out to the store and buy all these different paints, I'm just going to kind of mix up what I have here just to what I think would be appropriate and we'll, we'll see if that works. Okay, so now to make this shiny, we're going to use the UV resin high gloss. And I've got a paintbrush. So for this resin, because it is uh, just like a one part resin, all the reactants and stuff get stuck to the bottom, so you have to give it a good shake. Now I'm just going to put a bunch on the back, like putting toothpaste on a brush. So once you have it all covered, just give it a moment to kind of settle. It is self-leveling to a degree. Go through and get any kind of little bubbles and everything out. I'll go stick this under the lamp for a couple minutes and uh, we'll be right back. So it's still a bit sticky, but I just want to show you the comparison between the same paint on how much more glossy that's going to be. So I think we're on the right track. All right, we'll let that uh, cure a little bit more. On to the next step. All right, now let's make our stencil here. Just some painter's tape. Just a straight line. I've kind of marked off how far I want my different sections. Kind of hard to do this through a camera. So stencils on. I want just a little bit more texture. So I have this ribbon. That's a pretty, pretty neat pattern. We're gonna try to not get the flower in there.
So now I'm just mixing up some of the uh, black and white. So let's take off the clips, but I'm going to keep the stencil on. Now, have the lure angled, spray the head, because of that angle we get that nice little defined gill line. You know, I thought I wanted a, a gray mouth. I don't. We're gonna just spray over that with the black. So I promised you two colors and uh, I lied. So at the end of the video, of Matt's video, he makes a comment on how he likes to have a little bit of chartreuse on there. Not necessarily for the fish, but mostly for you. So what we'll do is we'll spray some just on the top lip here and uh, that way you can see the lure as you're, as you're popping it back. I get that overspray a little bit. I'll put us a little bit on the tail section here. Let's get the stencil off.
Okay, there we have it. Did gloves off for this one, just so you can actually see the lure better. And um, I think I found my uh, my new favorite uh, my new favorite top coat. It's still a KBS, but it's the satin finish. It really adds like no extra shine to this. That is pretty great. So, top water lure black bit of chartreuse because Matt Steffen said so. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend and uh, take care. Bye.